I could just smell it a mile away. It smells repulsive. Gross. Disgusting. Nasty. It hurts my nose. I heard it's worse than smoking a cigarette. The next time someone lights up a cigarette near you, you might as well be smoking too. That's because the smoker is inhaling less than one-fifth of the smoke. Less than a fifth. The other four-fifths goes directly into the air, right at you, into your hair, onto your clothes, even into your lungs. It smells bad and doesn't make you smell good. It sticks to everything, your clothes, your hair. Students in my class smoke, and it's obvious as soon as they walk in. Sometimes the bathrooms are full of cigarette smoke. I walk into the bathroom, I come out and smell like I just smoked a whole pack of Newport cigarettes. My mom thought that I had been smoking because the smoke got onto my clothes. And she was like, where were you? What happened? If you're a non-smoker, you very quickly and easily can tell if somebody has been smoking, even if you're not around the smoke. You're smelling the residual chemicals that were in the smoke that have been absorbed by your clothing, your, you know, your hair. Want to see those nasty chemicals? Just go to a smoker's house or car and wipe one of the windows with your finger. You'll see this tar, this actual brown stuff that is the particulate material. And this is the material that deposits in your hair and on your clothes. And it's also what gives that smell to someone who smoked. Secondhand smoke is actually a combination of two kinds of smoke. Mainstream smoke has been inhaled and breathed out. Sidestream smoke is constantly rising from the tip of the cigarette and is 20 times more toxic than mainstream smoke. The person who is smoking is inhaling this material through a filter, but what they exhale and what the individual around them breathes in is not filtered. It just stinks to me. It's just not a good smell. The cigarette smoke smells like how an acid would smell. Secondhand smoke does, in fact, contain acid. It also contains the chemicals used to blow up buildings and embalm dead people and about 4,000 more toxic substances. Just smelling this stuff is enough to make most people sick. It'll irritate the mucous membranes in your nose and the back of your throat. Your body tends to reject things that can cause harm, and secondhand smoke tends to induce reactions such as coughing and shortness of breath. It's sometimes